hi and welcome back to another quick ASM quick coffee tip I like to show you how we do this cool bookshelf very quickly and then we save this as a library part all right let's see what we can do I use a slab maybe simple bookshelf button uh, let's do it 60 and we go this way just give material and I put on the furniture layer and I draw X3 plus and the width for now I just do it one meter plus all right so that's our first um, button shelf there we go now what we do is we just copy some up so the next bit is I'm going back to my elevation uh, and we just copy this up by three meters. Let's go up by three plus. Okay, and I like to make this bookshelf sides and top just 20. There we go. All right, actually, I want to put this exact on three meters. Did you see that went down? You gotta be very careful. 20 down, so you just drag it. Another 40 back up. There you go. So I got exactly three meters in between now. Good. Next one, I use the wall. Again, same wood, put on furniture. Um, I put the height on 60, 20 is 80, 3. 1000 minus 80 is 2920. There you go. Uh, like a 20, that's fine. And I like it on 60 heights. There you go. You will see what happens. So we go this way. So if you look in 3D. There we go. <laughs> Bye. My thinking was a bit out, but never mind. I tried hard. So suspend groups and we just move this up. All right, cool. So to copy the sides of the shelf and the slabs up and down, there's nothing new, so I'll speed that up for you. All right, cool. So. If we now have a look in 3D, there you go, that's our bookshelf. Looks pretty boring at the moment. But what we can do is, it's quite simple. We can now go take an object and let's go for basic shapes and we go for the sphere. All right, let's make this about, I don't know, let's try. Start it at three and Okay, and we click this in. Beautiful, can't see anything. So, how about I change this? Because I really wanna see through this fill pen, you go to zero and, oh, actually fill pen black and the background I want some zero. All right, that's better. So, what you do is now you take this, make sure you go in the middle, there we go, and we, drag this in and as you can see what you gotta try to do is go and drag it roughly to there all right so what we have now is this there you go now if you increase if you increase the diameter of this let's just do that for now let's go to six that means obviously if I go back here I got to drag that down again so I get a different you know I get a different cut inside so because we do this let's just go and cut off a lot more okay so I had a meter here if I go into the middle I'll have the bookshelf here at half a meter so 500 mil that's not a bad idea come on there we go 
Okay. Right, so what we do is next, you gotta be careful before you, because we use solid element operation, make sure you got enough resolution here for cutting. So I put this maybe on 144. Yeah, maybe much smoother now. That's great. And what we do is now we go to our solid element operation. So get the target element and operator and we subtract execute. And all you gotta do is turn this layer off. Oops, yeah, no, it is okay, it's not on the same layer. And as you can see, there's your cool shelf. That looks much cooler now. Okay, and one more step, we just save this now as a library part. So you select this, you go into 3D, and what's important now is you have to look from the top. There we go, got the camera right down here. All right, and now you can save this as a library part, which we do over here. Libraries and objects, and we create, save, selection. Oh yeah, gotta select this. There we go, do it again. And we save selection as an object. You know, it gives you all this stuff. Say, okay. Okay, just saved it as a Cool book shelf. Okay. Hey, okay, what's happening here? And we save this. Okay, so that means now you have this available in here. There we go. See? But make sure obviously you have then the building materials which I used, um, actually I have the same, so I can use this one. And I just will use the group one. There you go. And we can go to furniture. And now you can click them around. And they're everywhere. Now, uh, even our spheres back. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little coffee tip and we'll be back next time. Bye for now.